What's up, everyone? Anthony Gallegos here, alongside Dustin Ligari. Hey, everybody. Um, and we are here to talk about the Arma 2 mod DayZ that is just becoming increasingly popular. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's actually turned Arma 2 Combined Operations, the game that you need to play, into the top-selling game on Steam. So right now, and it's, it's crazy too, right? We're here mm -hmm. we are looking at the Arma 2 uh, server list, and we don't even have to try and find a DayZ server. Yeah. It's this just one nothing. looks good. Seattle. But right. DayZ. Yeah, yeah, Seattle. Good and thing. Good ping, good amount of players playing. That's the thing that people, if you haven't played DayZ and you're jumping into it the first time, don't worry about jumping between various servers. No matter what server you join, they store your character information, your current survivor information on the server side. So even if you, he's playing on Seattle right now, he stops, decides to play in Atlanta, wherever he left his character off, whatever supplies he had on, whatever horrible condition he's in, <laughs> that will all be saved for the next uh, playthrough in whatever server he joins in on. And I believe the last time I played, I, uh, I committed suicide and started a new character. So we're about to either start from fresh or I'm going to be in very bad condition. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to do that in this game. And don't be fooled right now by this loading screen. That's the thing. It is a mod for Arma 2 uh, mm -hmm. Combined Operations. So right now we're seeing an Arma 2 loading screen. They did do a lot of really cool stuff for this to make it very unique, to make it feel like a zombie world. But certain things, obviously, they've borrowed a lot of assets from it. You know, and they didn't make custom loading screens. Though maybe, you know, someday that could, I could see that being in the works. Yeah, I don't think I'll be driving around any tanks anytime soon. No, that would make this uh, a little... On balance. A, a little too bit. easy. Yeah. Um, uh, the loading screens do take a lot, because, like, it's a mod. So. Well, not only is it a mod, but, but the world that you populate in every time you join the game, is it's gigantic. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's, it's, I believe it's... I could be wrong. I think it's like 220 square kilometers or something like I don't know like what that. a kilometer is, though. So, like, <laughs> what's kilometer to miles? Is anybody it, right now, we sound like dumb Americans. <laughs> but I'm from Canada, but I don't remember It's basically a three point... Uh, it's five kilometers. It's like half a mile, right? miles. So, <laughs> I forget. I don't remember the conversion rate. Anyway, it looks um, like we're actually getting in. Now, I've had a lot of problems uh, finding a server that I can join. So, um, ideally, look for, like, a good ping. Yeah, I mean, and the thing, the, close the, the way that I usually sort it when I'm looking for a good server is I sort by two things. One, you want great ping, um, because the last thing you want to do is die from a zombie killing you because of lag issues. Mm -hmm. Two, you want good population. Like, I know that a lot of the reason that you play DayZ is that you play because you want to survive against zombies and stuff, but, but fighting off survivors is also a big part of the appeal. Um, and you want to make sure that you're in a server where there's a chance to run into other people, because even if, even if you get into a fight with other you know, players and stuff, and it might end up bad for you, it, that's fun. That's part of the reason that you play. You want to have that, that tension that could happen. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's kind of, this is good, set up your uh, patience level, because you need to have a lot of patience. Yeah, and I mean, like like we said, it's a mod. It's obviously a work in progress. Textures yeah. and stuff take a while to load in. DayZ isn't even, like, necessarily the best-looking game. Now, I mean, Arma 2 is a, you know, they're working on Arma 3 right now. It's an older game at this point. But that's not why you play DayZ. You don't play DayZ because you want the the best aesthetics and that sort of thing you want you play DZ because it has like a certain atmosphere that you just don't get in other sort of scary zombie survival games um here's a little thing that a lot of people coming into DayZ for the first time might not know is uh, a lot of the controls right that's i mean i know that both when you and i joined destin yeah. figuring out how to play was it's daunting it's it's hard i mean you immediately need to go find a wiki or a guide or, or at least a PDF of the controls yeah. to kind of have an idea of what to do. So here's a few things that uh, you guys can actually do to run around. Um, right clicking will actually let you run or not run. And I'm actually crouched right now. And uh, you can uh, crouch by pressing X. So that has me crouched. I can lay down by pressing Z. Now to stand up, you'd think you'd press Z again, right? Nope. You press C to stand up. Or you can press X to do the crouch. You can get up in a midway between yeah. you know, laying down and crawling. And the reason you want to do that, the reason that it's so important, is that you'll see on the uh, right-hand screen, right underneath the debug monitor, there's an ear and an eye. And that ear uh, and eye, what they do is they indicate how much sound you're making and how visible you are. And the zombies have pretty good eyesight, but they, but they have even better hearing. So you really have to make sure that when you're around zombies, you are making as little sound and as little sight, like making yourself as visible as possible. That is that is a terrible idea. Wh what's really creepy about this server is I just found out I can't go into third person. Uh, so, yeah. So that's another thing that a lot of people will, will figure out. So the way that you normally can go into third person, well, not normally. Some servers enable it. Some that want to be a little bit more purist to make it a little bit harder, they won't let you go into third person. Normally, the way you would do that is by hitting the enter key on the numpad. Yeah. Um, and that's really a big boon because it gives you a lot of situational awareness that right now Dustin doesn't have. But you'll see that uh, 
there is a little bit of a zoom to it. Um, Destin's doing that because while he said he could switch between running and walking by clicking the right mouse, mm -hmm. they don't hold tell it. you that if you hold the right mouse, it actually lets you zoom in. Yeah, and, and I'm doing that looking for zombies because I don't want to go running in there. Like, no. as soon as I get into town, if I'm near anybody, I'm going to hit Z and crawl all over the place. Yeah, that's the thing is that, is that uh, like we were saying, you know, you, you only run like this when you're out well, in areas that right don't there. really matter. And, that's, and so one of the things about DayZ is it's all about survival. You see that Dustin has four meters on the right side. One is his heat. One is his uh, thirst. One is his blood, which is your general health. And the bottom one is his uh, hunger meter. So much like something like, you know, I hate to compare, but something like The Sims, these are all things that Destin has to manage. They Just are like all The Sims. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> I mean, you know, those, those similar know things. But uh, so Destin has to keep all those in a, in a good condition or else he will die. I mean, his blood will go down and blood is your life. And it's really hard to get back blood. You can get a small amount from eating food, but the only way to get large amounts of blood is to do transfusion. And the only way you can do transfusion is to find another player and a transfusion kit. And the player has to be willing to do a transfusion with you. Okay, so. Anthony, there's like a million zombies here. Where do you think I should go? So that's the thing, is that when people join a server like we did for the first time, what they usually do is they see a town and they run towards it because they're like, oh, town, zombies, that's what this game's about. Well, these first towns are kind of a lark, though. They're kind of uh, there to lure you in and get you killed early on, I think. So... Like we said, it's, it's multiple hundred square kilometers. You're going to want to eventually go up into the hills and find other towns. But all the supplies that you need to live are only found in towns and near buildings. I so can't go to any of these places. I'm going to try and get there in the middle where those tanks are. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, At this I don't point, think I'm going to make it. Well, Let's it, give it a shot, though, anyway. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. We can always try and lose the zombies if we get spotted. I think it's time to start crawling, Dustin. Oh, my God. So... Um, what, we're, what I was saying earlier is that supplies are only found near buildings and towns. So that's kind of the, the whole thing, is that you'd think to yourself, if I'm trying to survive in a zombie world, the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to avoid zombies altogether. Mm -hmm. but, but you can't. But you can't. Um, and actually, I just noticed something about the server we're playing on. Here's another thing you want to look out for when you're picking you servers. You have like the dandelion things. Uh, that's what I call them. Yeah. Letting but you know where zombies are. Exactly, which is kind of, a lot of people really don't like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to have no clue where zombies are, and I totally get that. That's the thing, is that you can kind of tailor DayZ to your preferences depending on the server that you joined. We picked this one because of... I just rolled over. <laughs> we picked this one because of ping and, uh, you know, the, the number of users on the server, but a lot of people are going to want to make sure that they avoid being able to see where zombies are. You know, that, that does, I will say, that that can take away from a little bit of the suspense that you would otherwise feel. I can hear zombies all around me, by the way, and it's really creeping me out. That's the thing about this game, too, yeah, is that, is that because you, like, you'll notice Destin isn't running around with a gun. In older builds of DayZ, you actually started with a pistol and a few clips. Uh, in the latest patch, though, or in one of the newest patches, <laughs> the guy actually took away, or the team that's making it, I should say it's not one person, uh, took away your ability to, uh, to, use w to start with a weapon. So now Destin is, he's defenseless to begin yeah. with. Which, you know, it's it's scary. That, that's why I can understand why some people would want to play on servers where oh, you... I found some stuff. Yeah, so you find supplies. They're not always that great. I mean, Dustin pasta. at least found some pasta. And a Coke. And a Coke, yeah. You have a very limited, uh, a fairly limited inventory, though. Um, you'll also find a lot of random things in these buildings that you'll be like, what is it for? Like, you'll find maybe uh, engine parts or... Um, and what you'll do is you'll actually find engines that you can repair and and, you know... I haven't. I don't know if you can make a car that works or not. I'm not I sure. I found a tire yet. once, but that's about it. So yeah, I've, and I've found car parts before. So maybe you can eventually get a car running. I know that there are bicycles that you can find and ride around the town, which help certainly help mobility, but definitely make you a lot more visible. Yeah. So okay, so I managed to get some stuff out of there. I'm still crawling. Right now, though, you're good. Though you you've you've uh, got a can of pasta and some coke, which is going to help you with your food and thirst meters when they start yeah. to get low. Yeah, I saw on your uh, podcast uh, command prompt that you actually found something. And Every Friday on IGN. <laughs> plug what you were able to uh, revitalize your thirst meter, which was great. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that uh, Destin also has to worry about things like temperature. Now, that one doesn't come into play that often, but let's say that Destin was uh, in... Crawling around in rain. Yeah, well, exactly <laughs> like you are, and you're not in good health. That can actually make you get a fever, and if you get a fever, then you have to keep your temperature up, which means you have to find heat packs or build a fire. And I've only ever found wood. I've never found matches to start a fire. Like, this game is is definitely very hardcore. Permanent death. So like Destin said, he just started the Survivor. He's played before. 
uh, with a couple of other survivors. But that's the thing is that you kind it. of don't come into this and expect not to die. I've never had a survivor last over four hours so far. Really? So, yeah. And I've had one friend who's had a survivor last 14 days. Oh, uh -oh. no. Somebody saw me. So I'm going to run. Destin's being chased. When the screen goes gray like that, it's because Destin's actually being hurt. And you can see in the debug monitor, his blood has actually gone down a little bit. Yeah, so I got too ambitious, and now I've been spotted, and I'm running for my life oh into, ah, oh God. <laughs> into a screen. And I might die now. The thing I will say, though, is that uh, it's easy to lose zombies sometimes when you see them if you run around buildings, because you're usually a little bit more agile than they are. Mm -hmm. But uh, much as you might think from watching zombie movies and what whatnot, you might think, oh, if there's a ladder, I can crawl up the ladder and just lose them. Let me grab uh, that. Um, that's not the case. I can't you, grab that axe. You can uh, you can run up ladders all you want, but zombies will crawl up ladders and they will uh, they will open doors right behind you to get to you. I was trying to grab that axe back there, but like um, I don't think that's a usable axe. The yeah. usable hatchets that you see are typically uh, red. Okay. So see, that's good to know because I've tried going for those before and then this happens. So where should I go? <laughs> I, <Where do> you <laughs> I'm thinking you should. Uh, well, we <laughs> run can run into off the into the woods. Sure, why not? Am I bleeding to death? No, actually, right now you're not bleeding at all. That's the thing too. Oh. Oh, I know how to lose. Actually, I'm I'm a liar. You are bleeding. Slowly though. Yeah. So it, they're actually being nice to me. So, so, that's so I'll the show thing. you how I usually lose zombies. Okay. And uh, this tactic has worked a few times. Destin though, it's just so we know that we've pointed out that he's bleeding. Uh, mm -hmm. If he does not bandage that, he'll die. Yeah. There, there is no like you temporarily lose a little bit of blood and you get over it. No. Destin will bleed until he dies. So unless that'll he be bandages. tricky for them to get through. Oh, God. A and he only has one bandage. At this point, I would say it's pretty safe to say <laughs> that Destin is going to die. Nope. I'm going to run out to those rocks and go around them, and the zombies will drown. Right. That's you all just, I've gotten away You just got before. another zombie behind you, though. Let's do a quick yeah. turnaround and see what we got behind us. Yeah. Uh, the whole town. Okay, so this is bad. And you can see my blood squirting out Again, of my Again, this is, this is a mod. This is It has a lot of kind of... And, and not only is it a mod, but it's a pre-alpha build at this point that's what they're calling it so um <laughs> the the blood when you see it especially if you're playing on a server with third person yeah, it looks like it looks too. like jelly is flying off of you yeah and that's the other thing is when you're bleeding out as you start to get hurt uh even if you don't have the debug monitor up you start to have an idea of how bad you're getting because you'll your vision will start to gray out uh the way you might expect when you're bleeding also uh eventually if dustin bleeds out enough uh he'll start to suffer other consequences like he might actually pass out and fall on the ground and when that happens, a timer will come up in the center of the screen. The first time that happens, it doesn't tell you that you've passed out either. So if you're new to the game, that's so something to look out for. Um, so all I'm trying to do here is lose them in the water. So I, I'm hoping. I think you've. I think just yeah. lay down at this point. That's what I would do. Because they, like I said, once you've lost them for a second, if you mm -hmm. lay down and lose visibility, you're generally. Nope. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm out of here. Get up, Dustin. You must get, get up. Get up and run. Oh, this is not good for me. The thing about zombies is you would think, you know, you have a ton of blood when you start. You can just get beat on for a long time. No. But zombie ch hits, I've learned, actually have a chance to break your limbs, too. And uh, a zombie recently, when I was playing, broke my leg. And if you get your leg broken, well, unless you're near other survivors that are actually willing to help you, that's pretty much uh, game over because the only way that you can heal okay, a broken it's only leg this guy. This is, is more fun. Yeah, I mean, you've lost all but one, so you're not doing terribly. <laughs> So the, the water method is like the best way i found to lose them. So I just kind of run out into the water usually. And this is scary because he's like right there. Yeah, although I will say that this is a tough thing to do for a lot of people only because... Uh, You're supposed to lose your items when you go into the water also. Not only that, but a lot of people don't typically stay near the coast. Yeah. So because people will snipe you and take your bandage. That's the thing is Destin may not see any other survivors, but actually, well, zombies are a threat in Daisy. The biggest threat that you'll encounter are, are other human beings. They will, as as any seasoned Daisy player will tell you, you should you should trust no one. I think so if you just run up into these bushes and probably lay down, you'll probably be all right. Would let's be my listen guess. to Anthony, who's played this more than me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to lay down. Now you need bit. to bandage yourself because yeah. you're still bleeding at this so point. So to do this, this is actually this took me a long time yeah, to figure so out. You right click and you go bandage myself. And right. then he'll stand up and and I'll get eaten by this zombie uh, <laughs> and then just waste my bandage. Well, it turns out I don't actually know anything about <laughs> anything. But anyway, that's how you bandage yourself. If you do manage to ever get away, I'm probably going to die now because I think I just used my only bandage. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's something you can do. Let's start running up the hill. And then we'll restart because this is pretty futile at this point. 
Yeah, I feel like at this point maybe we should just let him uh, kill you, and we'll show okay, people yeah. we'll show people a couple of the damage states and uh, and even. So well, right now, Dest bones. Destin has his leg broken. The only way he can fix that now is to get morphine. either morphine so that he can stand up and walk around, mm -hmm. or I'm not even sure. I think that's pretty much it. So at this point, yeah. even if Destin were to somehow get rid of the zombie, he'd be pretty screwed. Yeah. Um, so I'm so what you can do when that happens is you can click uh, respawn, and you'll just die. Right. So, but from here though, it's a little difficult when you first play because you're like, how am I supposed to rejoin the server? You would think I clicked respawn. Yeah, it should be a simple matter of respawning on the server. Yeah. But it's, it's just, a little bit more elaborate. It's confusing. You you hit escape, and you just go to abort, right? Yeah, and then yeah. you'll be like, I don't know if I want to do that. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Then disconnect. Disconnect. <laughs> yeah, and then you can respawn. Then you hit OK, and then it regenerates, and uh, you go back into the game. Right. I mean, you know, the logical thing you would think is you just hit respawn and it should take care of it all yeah. but like I said it's a work in progress these things are all coming mm -hmm. uh, so oh no you didn't do anything no. Anthony keeps insisting on hitting my keyboard no, I'm just <laughs> I will say when you create a new character you have the interesting choice there to pick your gender male or female um, me I always play female because I'm convinced that oh, uh, a rainbow. that I'm convinced other players will treat me better if they run into a oh, girl really? who's trying to su survive the zombie apocalypse if only they had cat suit girls then you'd be set <laughs> I remember uh, Final Fantasy XI, everybody would pick Catgirl. <laughs> um, so here we are, we're starting again. You don't always start in the exact same place, but you start in generally the same chunk of coast. Yeah, so I've actually never seen a billboard before. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, so it, it does take place in, uh, like, if there's, like, a setting to Daisy, it's Russia. You know, this is, this is, this is very much Russian. It is not American. Um, the the labels and stuff you'll see will all be Russian. I believe the land itself is is a based off of a Russian area as well. Mm -hmm. I really do like though that. So there are times like you know we were pointing out how kind of dumb the grass looked and stuff like that at times. And yeah. But then this right here, this this actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. This it looks nice. Uh, the textures are better. Maybe it was from the update or something. I yeah. Know. You know, I, I also just feel like it does a really good job at painting really broad uh, landscapes and, and really getting across moods well. Like, this feels like... Oh, there's a know, house. Oh, that's the billboard. A kind of rainy coastline. You know, I mean, we still get the <laughs> things like popping and stuff pretty bad, but... Do you think I should go this way? Um, you know, honestly, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's the so thing is that I've only ever found a map in this game once. Oh, really? You actually found I a found map. a map, and it shows you the whole area. It's topographical. It's nice. That's cool. But uh, in general, a lot of times what people do is they'll do what Destin's doing. They'll pick a road to follow. They'll pick power lines. Mm -hmm. You know, and you just kind of do that and head to town and, and hope for the best that when you uh, see follow civilization, you can, find, yeah. you can find something useful in a home, at, like a weapon. Now, if I've played for several hours, and Destin has too. Destin's never found a weapon. Yeah, never found a gun. I was just going to ask you that. Have, what's the best thing you ever found was that axe, right? Right. And... Uh, other than the axe, which you can actually use for two purposes, you can use it as a weapon, or you can put it in your tool belt, and you can use it to actually get wood from trees for oh, fires. Cool. Um, so it's a really useful thing to have, and it has unlimited ammo, obviously. But uh, the only other like uh, projectile weapon I found is a crossbow once, and I only found two arrows with it. Oh, nice. So it's it's and it has a really long reload time because as this game does try and be a little bit simulation like, uh, when I would fire the bolt, I would have to, you know, put the crossbow on the ground, pull back the bow, which when you're doing that in the middle of a zombie fight, it's yeah. it's all bad. So this is really scary. We got this eerie music, and I'm literally just running in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no map or anything, and that's kind of the the setting they try and establish. Yeah, I, I think right that away. that's kind of the appeal of, of, of the Daisy experience is that right now, you know, if you were just watching this footage without playing the game or without hearing us talk about it, it's it looks dumb. It just mm -hmm. looks like you're running around a, a, a big empty environment. But moments like this, when you're actually playing the game, serve a purpose of establishing the mood, building up that tension. Because you might spend like ten minutes being like, I don't see any zombies, yeah. but then that first moment where you see one and you realize, oh my god, it's chasing me. <laughs> it just is like so much more of a tension, dread-filled moment than it would otherwise be. So we got an island over there. This is really weird. I've never joined a server where I couldn't go out of like first person. Yeah, I don't know. More trees. I guess I'll just keep running this way. Yeah. That's all I can do. So. Yeah, there are definitely times in this game where uh, it does become a little bit of a running simulator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we could do. Luckily, you know, we can pause the video, fast forward this part, 
if, if it's just me running for 10 minutes straight. Through the uh, brilliance of time, we'll, we'll yeah. catch up with you guys in a second when we uh, manage to find something cool. <laughs> yeah. This is fun. Run forward. <laughs> There's some trees. There's probably something around that bend. It looks like it turns. I hope. This is what happened the first time I played. You just ran for like a half hour? Yeah. Remember I asked you, I'm like, so I've been following these railroad tracks for like Oh yeah, and I was minutes. like, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you're like, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to lead to nothing. Yeah, the, the, the time I found an axe, I just turned to the right and just ran. Yeah. And eventually I ran into a, a little cabin that had an axe in it, and then I equipped it and beat the shit out of every zombie I saw. <laughs> yeah, so like, what's your objective, really? It's to kill the zombies eventually, right? To well, get points. And just to stay alive as long as possible. Mm-hmm. And eventually, like, people will form bandit camps. They'll uh, they'll find tents, and they'll set up little tent villages and then set up barbed wire around them and then keep someone online oh, yeah. at all times. Really? To watch over their camp. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, there's some village. There's a village way okay, out good. there, it looks like, right? Yep. That's probably the one where I died. Or maybe it's a new town. Who knows? It all looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> After a while, like, when you're just looking at trees, you're just kind of like, oh, is that something? No, it's a tree. <laughs> so here we go. Let's take a look and uh, see what that is, actually. Uh, I think uh, Dustin stumbled upon... At the little, another little town along the train tracks. Should I go towards the train track area? Yeah, I'd, I I'd say let's village? stick on the outside train tracks and kind of try and scope the village from the perimeter. Okay, that's a good idea. After my successful death run last I time. mean, in real life, you know, sometimes it actually does pay to think about Daisy in terms of real life. In real life, if you oh, were trying to a scope zombie. a town for food, well, first off, you'd probably never approach any town that had zombies in it ever. Yeah. But second, you would probably try and hang by a tree line where you know zombies typically aren't and then try and, you know, scope the scene from far away. Yeah, so I'm going to stay kind of way up here because I see one already down there. And it's the fast guys you really got to watch out for. I like that they have the dandelion thing because it, it, like, it looks like, you know, things from a dandelion. I know, and I know that, like, see but that, again, people that's like the thing the about Daisy realism. is that it, it comes down to your preference and how you want to play. Yeah. I'll take any help I can get. Do you think this is the town I died in before? I have no clue. It's hard to say. Without a map, that's the thing, is that you have to find a map in this game. Um, there are some really great internet resources where you can find exactly where to find everything, like a bike and stuff like that. But to me, again, that kind of takes away from the experience. If you know exactly where to find a gun, well, then finding that gun isn't really all that special the first time. Yeah. Like, when you found that axe, you were probably really, really, really happy. It, it was ridiculously empowering, and extremely heartbreaking when that character died oh god i saw you actually killing things and i'm like oh my god that's you can actually do it <laughs> yeah it you, is possible you can live yeah oh my god so i'm staying really really far away from the town yeah so not every building can be entered either so that's the thing is we kind of have to keep our eyes out for things like open barns and buildings with doors that are like open that, but right like there. that actually is probably like i would yeah Pretty much from here, I would crawl in. Now we... Oh, there's a zombie behind it. That's what I'm saying. So if you crawl in, you're probably fine. Like, that's the thing in DZ. When you're crawling, you can get ridiculously close to zombies. Really? Yeah. And another thing I've discovered is that you actually tend to make even less sound if you sideways crawl. <laughs> oh, like like the rolls I was doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks so weird in first person. Well, we got a... There was a satchel a or satchel, something. yeah. The question is, what's in it? Um, so if you nothing. look at it... I did. I And then... R yeah, there you there go. We go. Oh, there's a Mac. Oh, a Makarov. Mag. So we got a magazine, which is good, but no gun. Yeah. And this is apparently levitating off the ground, so... That Shh. Should... <laughs> We're going to throw the bullets at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely seen other bugs in this game, you know, like oh, you'd that's, expect that's out of a pre-op. I was just teasing. No, no, I'm just saying, like, where I've been inside buildings with really good roofs and this rain is still hitting the ground. And, oh, really? Yeah, you know, it's just the little silly things that you come to accept just because it's 
you know, it's just like the early days of playing something like Minecraft. It's just worth it to, to kind of tolerate the, the crappy parts for for just the unique experience that you get out of it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of zombies around here. Yeah, the sound effects are a little uh, jarring, too, because the music and kind of tones that they use in the game sometimes makes you feel like a little paranoid, like zombies are a lot closer than they are. Do you think I can get in that house? I don't think so. I can't get that axe. That's, is that uh, that axe that I went for before? Uh, well, it's a different one. But, I mean, obviously they recycle some assets yeah. here and there as well. Um, that, that area down there looks promising, though. So this tactic of, you know, oh, there's two axes. There's another one. Yeah, I think that's the same type of axe from before. You can also go over short fences. With um, my vault ability? Yeah, by running up and hitting V. Um. So I'm going to crawl from here on out. Please let me pick that up. Nah, oh. man. It's got to be the red axe. But we can check out, you know, this little area and see if... A lot of times you'll... D oh, my God, Oh, Dustin. yeah. We found a hatchet. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. Okay, now go to your inventory. And now I think if you double click the hatchet, it should uh drop. <laughs> Wait, no, it went to your tool belt. Yeah, so you want to say remove from tool belt. That's what it is. So you right click, it. you right click it, say remove from tool belt, and now it's in his inventory. So how do I attack with uh, it? Uh just hit R once real quick. It, it, you have to reload <laughs> it, just to get that symbol out of the way. Okay, so now how do I attack with it? So now if you just click, left click, you are swinging the axe. Okay. So at Bring this point, it, Dustin is, uh, he's lethal, but the problem is that he only has one bandage when he starts, and any zombie attack ever could mm -hmm. set you bleeding. Yeah, but now I can actually kill something. I've never gotten an axe before. This is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you are good. Will you, <laughs> click the left button again real quick. Like when you click attack. Oh, see... This hack button keeps going down. For, so oh, you, so it I, has I, ammo. You, you might have, I mean, granted, you have 100,000 clicks. Yeah. But still, that's good to know. I mean, a hatchet isn't going to last forever. What's in here? I don't think there's anything in there. You can't hide with the chickens, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is exciting. I have a weapon, so I'm not completely defenseless. No, I'm I mean. I'm going to be brave and stay crouched. This is, uh, this is the, the most competent as a survivor you've ever been. Yeah. Definitely, and like you know, first time actually having some type of weapon, I can actually feel a little brave, a little maybe, bolder, yeah, maybe overconfident, like I was last time. So he's looking at me. Oh boy, that's I hate that noise they make. They make this like inhaling noise, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a little disconcerting. Jarring. Yeah. Um. So far, should we check out that Humvee? I don't think there's typically supplies in cars, but I could be wrong. So that's the thing is that me and Dustin are here walking you through Daisy, but we are actually only newcomers to it as well. Which, as I, I know a lot of people that are watching this are as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's we've taught you how to use the bandage so far, um, so that door doesn't work. Actually, if you ever go to a dark area to use your flashlight, you just also remove from tool belt. We're not going to do that because I have a hatchet that I'm holding on to dearly. But it, it puts it in your main hand? Yeah, it'll put it in your main hand. Then you press L to turn it on. Oh my god. And like, it's getting kind of dark. Yeah, that, the game does have a, a day-night cycle to it, so when it gets dark at night, I mean, it gets really, really dark. Yeah, like pitch black. And it stays that way for uh, I think a few hours. Mm -hmm. So, you definitely have to be very careful. That looks like... Oh god. You got him. Yeah. You can also uh, loot zombies And he didn't as well. make me bleed. No, you managed to kill him without him getting you. That's um, right, zombie. He didn't have anything on him. But sometimes uh. sometimes you get lucky. That looks like a turkey, though. Yeah. And I'm we and uh, if you see animals, right now the AI in them is kind of a little busted, <laughs> so they often don't run. But Destin can totally it kill it, which he did. Noise. And now Destin can loot it, take the bird parts. It's and, not letting me loot. And uh, you should be able to loot it. Nope. Oh god, I'm so disoriented. Well, if uh, normally what you can do is if you see something like a, a cow or a turkey, you can kill it, loot it, take its parts, and then you, if you get matches, you can actually uh, cook the meat and eat it. Okay. And, and fulfill some of your hunger needs. You can't this eat is an raw awesome meat. Awesome town. Oh, look at this. 
This looks like a military complex of some kind. Right, and I'm sure if we had the map out for that you can find online, we could use that information right there to kind of uh, get an idea of where we are our bearings. If you uh, know what time of day it is, because some servers will tell you what time it is, or if you actually manage to find a watch, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually find watches and equip them. If you find a watch and you know what time it is, you can actually tell north by where the sun is positioned. Oh, really? Yeah. So. But you need a watch? Well, to know what time it is, because, yeah. you know, if you know, like, oh, it's noon and the sun is over here, yeah. that means that that way is north. But without knowing time, it's kind of hard to know what the position of the sun is telling you. Okay, so I'm going to keep following this road, because I think we might find something useful. You can see my shadow there on the barn. <laughs> yeah, that barn might have something in it, too, though. I find it that a lot of times the, dishwasher over there. the big barns the have doors on the sides. Let's see if I can get in uh, in here. I'm going to start walking a little slower. Those though. doors may not open, but it wouldn't surprise me if on the sides of the building there were doors that that worked. Oh, God. I can hear them. Can't see them, though. Oh, Jesus, that's creepy. <laughs> it's okay. He's probably inside the building. Oh. I have an axe. Yeah, okay. this, this may have been a bad idea. I don't know. Let's see if there's a way into this building in the front. I think so. I think there's a way into this building. You think right there? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd have to vault. Oh, God. There's nothing for it, Dustin. Something's Stand up and give him, give him what for. I can't see him. Oh, he's hitting oh, he's you through hitting the building. Through the oh, now Damn you're bleeding. It. Well, let's kill some zombies. <laughs> I'm taking you with me. All right, one's down. <laughs> There's my blood. Uh, the other one's probably trying to get you through the building. Okay, good. So we know where he is. I'm going to use my bandage. Bandage myself up so I don't lose too much blood. Yeah, you lost... Not that much. You lost about 1,200 blood. Not the end of the <laughs> world. <laughs> so there. So I used that, and now my blood's stopped bleeding. Yeah, let's let's see if the zombie has anything useful on him. I hope so. What are you doing? Nothing. Yeah. Darn it. Um. All right, let's... I'm well, going in there. Oh, of course. I mean, at this point, he knows you're here. you got to finish him off. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, my God. I see something on the ground. I'm more worried about the guys behind me getting me. Oh there's my god, gun. Dustin, there's a gun. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. First thing first. Gun. Oh my god. It's a bolt action rifle. <laughs> I'll but, take it. But but it's it might be okay. So Dustin, what Dustin actually can do is you can still pick up that hatchet and put it yeah. on your tool belt for, for, for future use. You can't do that with like a gun. You can only ever carry, as far as I know, one at a time. But So, now, uh, so, I have so actually that. go into your inventory and say uh, add to tool belt. So now you can actually still take the gun and keep the hatchet as well, which, oh, is, yeah. which is nice just as a backup. Um, <laughs> Poor zombie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this place. Somebody was holed up here, I think. No, I think, I think you just stumbled upon a random spawn of awesomeness. <laughs> So we got some chem, chem light. lights. You know, you throw them down at night. They're like the shaky glow sticks that ki people give their kids at Halloween. Uh, you know, that's the thing is that uh, one of the things I had to learn to do in a game of oh, oh there's my two guns. God. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things I had to learn in Daisy was how to uh, how to decide what to take and what to drop. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what happened to the other gun. Oh you no. Had. Okay, it's it just on the ground. I think I'd rather the bolt action. What do you think? I mean, how often are you going to fight zombies from far away, though? I have an idea. Let's try them out. <laughs> okay. Not on this guy. On the w live ones outside. All right. Well, Who's how many rounds do you anything? have for this thing? Uh, I don't know. That's the thing. There's no ammo two counter. Rounds. Looks like I have two rounds. Oh, There's my God. something in the I think satchel. So that's pro Oh, you grabbed the, the wood. Now let's see what's in the satchel. Uh, I don't look think at it. It's not letting me. Uh, don't, re don't zoom. I'm not. And then ro roll your mouse. Like, look at it in mouse roll. There we go. Oh, civilian, civilian clothing. You don't want that. It's just the same thing you're wearing. Oh. Whatever. Your inventory's not full at the moment. All right, so let's try so. out this shotgun. Yeah. I've never had a gun before. No, this is this is a very exciting moment for me. I think there was one to your right. I thought. Did we kill them all? I find it really depressing that we can't take both of those guns. <laughs> 
I'm not like zoomed in now. Yeah, the there's no dandelion thing showing up on the right to indicate so how do you zombies close by. So you right click. Yeah. And then that's it. Oh, okay. So let's yeah. go back to the town because there was like a bunch back here. Oh, wait. Dandelion. He's right there. Hold on. To your right. To your right. To your right. To your right. More. He's right there. Straight ahead. All right. Nice test subject. Come here, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I found a shotgun. I can't either. Oh, God. I missed. Okay. Well, Am I bleeding? The thing I don't like about this, Dustin, is you only have two shots. And you only now have... Oh, no, I had four total. No, no, no. I'm just saying that, that in a clip, yeah. you only have two shots. I'm thinking that Lee Infield, which I think has a clip of five rounds. And and you can, like, clear out an area. Exactly. And it can shoot from farther away. Mm -hmm. And we know where the shotgun is in an emergency. Yeah. Let's And the Lee, we have 11 rounds. Yeah. yeah. I think this is generally the, the way we want to go. All right. Got a gun. I think Here we go. Let's try this one out. Oh, my God. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, this this gun takes the cake far <laughs> and above. Plus, I found tons of Lee Enfield uh, clips throughout my time playing. Really? Yeah. All right. This is good. Man. This is the best weapons <laughs> this I've is, ever this had. Is, this, is, uh, this is a daisy adventure like no <laughs> other now. Uh, and see, that's the funny, fun thing about this game is that other survival horror games you might play, like in Resident Evil... You know, ammo can be a little scarce, but it pops up often enough it doesn't mean anything. And this, like, I don't think people that have not played this game will understand how much this gun changes everything for Destin. He's living in the Wild West, and now he has a gun, which means other survivors he comes upon probably won't have a gun. Yeah, definitely. And he, he could tell them, you stay away from me or else I will kill you. Oh, God. So. Oh, yeah, that's the thing is uh, people don't realize is that, oh, oh, my God, they that's the bad thing about guns, Destin. No, Destin. Get up! They all heard the gunshot. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <laughs> so, I had da a gun. Downside to weapons. Like yeah. Good part about the hatchet is that the hatchet doesn't <laughs> make sound. Well, I have eleven rounds. Got one. Oh my gosh! You have to make every <laughs> shot count. And I'm losing blood now because that one hit me. I guess I could take out the axe. No, you're okay. You're okay. You're not bleeding. You're okay. God, I can hear them, like, right behind me. But there's no good way to take out the axe, because to go into your inventory, you have to stop Oh, yeah, moving. that's right. I am not in good shape anymore. No, we found a gun, and we got a little too trigger happy. So now we know when you get a gun, don't shoot it unless you have to. A gun is a good tool to use to threaten, but hatchet's probably the best way to fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> well, Dustin, we have, one cho we have two choices here. Run backwards and shoot. That's not possible. Did I get one? Nope. Hey, they're getting confused. All right. You have to make every shot count. All right. But I'm also getting hit, which is not good. Hold on. You're okay. You're okay. There we go. How many shots do I have left? Four? Five. Or, yeah. Sorry. Three. You, you can miss one more time and be okay. That was lucky. <laughs> All right, buddy. Elite you're going skills. Down. Oh my God, Dustin, last shot. Shoot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. And I have I, one more round. I, I and I'm like looting all these zombies. Or no, sorry, you had another clip. That was how many clips you have. You have ten rounds still. So you're oh. okay. All right. Whew. So I think that that's probably a good stopping point for this week's Daisy yeah. Adventures. But yeah, but that, yeah, that kind of gives a good overview and, and shows you the dangers, actually, of, of finding better weaponry. Yeah. So um, I'm bleeding to death, actually, right now. So I need to kill somebody else and take their bandages. We're going to try and get Dustin sorted out here. But uh, you guys should definitely stay tuned to IGN for a lot more Daisy coverage in the coming days because we're going to be doing a lot more commentaries. Uh, and, you know, just a lot more coverage about Daisy in general. So thanks a lot for joining us, and we shall see you next time.